Welcome to today's RTS tutorial. I'm going to share with you uh, from Pune University of Engineering and Technology. Today we will learn about suitability analysis. So this is our project description and rough overview of what needs to be done for the analysis. Now we will move to the arc map and start our analysis. You can see that we have already loaded the files that are required for the analysis. Our first task is to adjust the environment settings so that all the raster analysis become similar to the Landis raster file. To do that, we will go to the geoprocessing then environments. First, uh, we will select the workspace as our output. Then, we will go to processing extent. In the extent, we will select same as layer land use. Then, in the raster analysis, will select the mask as land use and the cell size same as the layer land use that is 25 okay then we'll just click ok and it will automatically be like the land use layer Next, we will determine slope from elevation. We will search slope and we will go to the slope 3D analysis tool. In the input, we will use elevation and in the output, we will just go to project 5 and this is our output. So, this will be our slope. Save it and we'll check the environment if it's correct or not As specified below the environment is almost correct so we'll just go with it and click ok so our slope is completed and it has perfectly overlapped the land use layer now we will determine euclidean distance from schools and the recreational sites for that we'll search the euclidean distance tool and we'll click this one then first we'll take schools as the input as the output we'll select schools and save it we will not select any input barrier and as the output cell size it is already been selected because we have tweaked the environment settings now we'll just click ok and see what happens you can see we have got a euclidean distance from the schools now we will do the same task with the recreational sites just name it recreation and save and click ok and it is done now we have got all of our rasters which can be now used as weight now we will reclassify the raster according to their values and importance so we'll go to search and click on the reclassify tool first we'll work with the recreation then we'll classify it as equal intervals and we'll select 10 classes click ok now we know that the recreational sites are need to be nearer to the school so we'll reverse the value and the, ne the nearer the better and since the first values are nearer we have uh, given this as 10 because it is the most suitable site for uh, recreation and then we'll save it uh, in the recreation as recreation r because we have reclassified it then we'll just click ok and it will reclassify it so we have reclassified the recreation then we will similarly classify uh, 
the schools for schools uh, we'll select same classes and equal intervals but in this time uh, we'll just keep these values because we cannot establish a new school where a school is already located so the far the better then we'll just save it a school r click ok so we have schools we have recreations then we will just reclassify the slope for slope the less slope the better so first we'll group 10 class as previous and then reverse the new values then save it as slope reclassified then click ok the slope is also done we have three raster layers done with the reclassification now for the land use we'll use these values given in the pdf for the reclassification we we'll go to reclassify now we'll select the land use as raster now if we change this as land use you can see there is the status so the brush will get the value 5 water will be avoided first we'll complete this ones barren land the build up will get 3 agriculture will get 10 the forest will get 4 and wetland will also be avoided so we can just delete these entries and water also delete it and this is uh, almost it so we'll just save this as land we classified and let's see what happens you can see that land is classified if we open the attribute table you can see the values are based on this pdf now we have got all of our raster layers reclassified now we have four raster layers and uh, uh, all are reclassified now we will just combine them uh, into one raster layer using these weightage values we can uh, do this task with two methods one is using weighted overlay and one is using raster calculator we'll use raster calculator in this tutorial raster calculator sorry so in this option uh, first we will get uh, the distance from rec uh, recreation sites so this is our recreation layer uh, let me see recreation r now uh, we'll give uh, this a weightage of 50 percent so we'll multiply this with 0.5 then we'll just sum other uh, then we have distance to schools so school r we'll create a bracket school r and this will get uh, the weightage of 25 uh, percent then we will use the land use that is land r this will get a uh, weightage of 12.5 percent that means 0.125 and then uh, we'll use the slope 
this will get same 0 0.125 and we'll save this as rasters combined and click ok let's see what happens you can see uh, we have this raster layer uh, now we have another task left uh, we just need to make these values all integer for that we have a very simple steps just click integer here to find integer and then just select raster combined inside of it and name it raster that's all and click ok so you, you can, can see that we have the desired raster now so we don't need all the values here uh, we'll just keep the values from 6 to 9 for that we just need to change the symbology for the individual raster values we will make it all white we'll make it while as well and this one as well so now we have these raster layers if we make it red a little reddish so you can see and we can make this blue so these are the most suitable sites according to our analysis so if we establish a new school we'll consider these color locations and this will be suitable after considering all the determinants so this is all for now thank you for watching